Oklahoma County District Attorney candidates respond to an explosive new report. An Oklahoma woman convicted of fraud was arrested in Mexico, and prosecutors say her co-defendant there, Chris Mays, helped plan the escape. Court documents also say she told investigators emails potentially exonerating Mays were actually fake. Those emails are now at the center of the Oklahoma County District Attorney race. They were submitted to the court by Vicki Behenna. She was lead counsel. Kevin Calvi, her opponent, says it's proof that he was right, but she says not so fast. Upon hearing about the arrest of Courtney Wells earlier this week, the Calvi campaign was quick to say his claims during the debate were vindicated, a point he reiterated Wednesday. And even a 10-year-old child could see that the documents that Ms. Behenna submitted were fake and that her own client engineered the disappearance of Ms. Wells. He also points to a motion from federal prosecutors, which calls into question the testimony given to verify the emails. You have to show that they have expertise in the matter to which they're testifying. This particular person did not have those qualifications. The defense claimed the emails exonerated Mays by showing that Wells took the fall for the fraud scheme. According to court documents, after her arrest, Wells told investigators that wasn't true and the emails were fakes. That expert said, yeah, those emails are valid and all that. Well, now we know Ms. Wells has confessed that they are not valid. Calvi believes that expert, as well as a motion claiming prosecutorial misconduct, point to an attempt to commit fraud on the court. She's up to her neck in this thing. This isn't a casual thing where, well, my client told me this and I just, you know, took it in good faith. No, no, she compounded that problem by her own action. And I'll be covering candidate Calvi's campaign up until Election Day. Our Angelicia Bruton will be following candidate Behenna, and she joins us now with the latest on her reaction to those accusations, Angelicia. Colby, Vicki Behenna's team said she was in court regarding this case today. They sent us a statement saying Calvi's claims are just that, claims used as a smear tactic. Oklahoma County District Attorney candidate Vicki Bahena is the lead counsel for Chris Mays, one of three co-owners of Big Red Dealership convicted of conspiracy to commit wire fraud. Republican DA candidate Kevin Calvi has accused Bahena of presenting fake emails in the case to help Mays avoid doing time. Bahena addressing these claims in a sit-down interview following a debate with Calvi earlier this month. This is one of the things that makes him a very dangerous person. There is an entire book, probably two inches thick, of pleadings in that case. And he has taken bits and pieces and weaved this false narrative uh, to try to gain a political advantage. That's what politicians do. That is absolutely not what a district attorney should do. Courtney Wells, one of the other co-owners of the dealership, was arrested in Mexico this week, and Mays was taken into custody in Logan County. Calvi says this proves that he was right, but Behenna disagrees. In a statement, she says, Mr. Calvi's attempts to smear my reputation are what you expect from a desperate career politician and lobbyist who is currently under active investigation by the OSBI. She goes on to say she'll leave it to the voters to decide who is the most qualified to be their DA. Following the hearing today, the judge revoked May's pre-sentence release based on probable cause of fabrication of emails, but does not believe Bahena had any involvement with May's unlawful activity. Angelicia Bruton, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.